Hello everyone, today I'm bringing you a hair bow tutorial and I'm going to experiment with this one by mixing some canvas fabric with ribbon. This is usually a bow that I would make with all ribbon. I think I've done a tutorial similar to this before, but I'm experimenting today and using some canvas on there. So this is a printed canvas. I will back this because it's a thin fabric and I got this, I believe, from Nicola's Craft Shop. But you can use any pattern. You could even use glitter fabric, whatever you want. You can really mix and match. I've chosen my ribbon in these three colours to bring out the colours in my pattern. You will need a hair bow template and this across measures 10 centimeters you want one roughly the same size so around a 10 centimeter loop template this particular one is the beauty bow from glitter glitter on the wall that comes in various sizes and with the tails this usually make a two and a half inch bow but just the loops alone are around sort of two inches across so these are the loops i'm using today you will need a pen to draw around your loops onto your fabric a tape measure to measure your ribbon, some good quality fabric scissors. I use these Fiskars razor edge scissors. I've got a needle already threaded with some strong thread and I've popped a knot in the end. And I've got a hair clip with some ribbon, which I'm going to line my clip with. You can attach this to an elastic or a headband, whatever you like, but these are what I'm using today. So taking our ribbon to start off with, I will just show you the measurements. So these are all the same length, all three pieces. They are all one and a half inch wide ribbon or four centimeters wide. And all three pieces are cut to 22 centimeters in length or around eight and three quarter inches in length. And like I said, you can choose any colors you like. And I've used these three because I've picked out the colors in my patterned fabric. Taking a lighter, you will need to heat seal the ends of your ribbon and this just get rid of any frays and prevent any further fraying. So you will need to do that on all three pieces of your ribbon. So all of the ends are now heat sealed, keeping hold of my lighter. Work out what order colour you would like these in. I've chosen mine to go pink, yellow and then the sort of lilac colour. Taking the pink one first and the yellow. I'm going to line these up together, laying the yellow over the top of the pink, and you need a one centimeter gap. So each of these squares is one centimeter. So I've left a one centimeter overlap. And again, using the heat from my lighter, I'm just going to bond those together. So I'm just heating up the fibers and then giving them a little press, and that will just hold those together like that. And then taking my next piece, I'm going to do the same, lining it up. Again, leaving another one centimeter overlap like that. And then using my lighter to melt those fibers and just bond those together just to hold them whilst we work on our bow. Then I'm going to go over to the other side and do the same. So making sure they're evenly spaced and straight so again i'm just using the board for my measurements and also i can make sure they're straight by using this the lines on the board as a guide and then again using my lighter to bond those ends together so melting the fibers and then giving them a pinch so that when they cool they're bonded together it don't have to be bonded together too well, it's just to hold it together whilst we work on our bow. So this is what we've got now. And now I'm going to fold this in half to find the centre. So I'm lining up the raw edges to give me that centre. And again, I'm going to use my lighter just to put a bit of heat on there to mark in a crease. So I can see now the center of my ribbon. I'm going to set that aside now. And next taking my canvas fabric and my template, I'm going to draw on the front side of my fabric because 
that way I can pick out the pattern. So I go for about here. I've got a nice rainbow that is going to be showing on this front half of the loop. And this side has got some of these flowers and clouds. You can do it in two separate halves, but I'm quite happy with the pattern placement on there. So I'm going to draw around my template just using an ordinary biro pen because when we cut this out, we're going to cut just inside the pen line so that it doesn't show on the front of the bow. And I'm also going to draw around the same template on some sticky back fabric. And this is just to back my canvas fabric because this is a very thin material. So if you're using a leatherette or a chunky glitter, you won't need to do this part. But this is just something that I like to do on my thinner canvas fabrics. Again, I will link some of this in the description below. This sticky back fabric, this I actually bought separately. So I bought the canvas and the sticky back double sided sheets and stuck them on the felt ready to back my fabrics. I'll show you how to cut this out first of all. So starting at that side. And as you can see, I cut just inside the pen line. So that way you don't have to have any of the pen showing on the front of that bow. That is definitely what you do not want. So as you can see, I've cut the pen line off. So when I make my bow loops, there's going to be no pen on there. I'm going to continue now cutting these two pieces out and then I'll come back. So I've got our two pieces cut out now, our sticky back felt and our canvas. So to back the canvas, you just simply need to peel off the other side of the sticky backing. And then I like to line the canvas up over the top and just lay it on there gently to begin with. And then picking it up from the middle. And then I like to curve these round as I stick it down. And the reason being is because when you think of something that curves round, the inner piece has got a shorter distance. So if I stick this down flat, sometimes when you curve it round, you get the middle part come away here. So by doing it like this, it helps to keep it all stuck down so that when you come to making your bow shape, it doesn't come unstuck in the middle. So as you can see, that felt gives this some extra thickness and it will hold the bow shape a lot better. If you want to, you can take a lighter and just run it around the edge just to get rid of any loose fluffy bits from that felt, like that. And then we're ready to assemble this bow now. And I forgot to show you, I've got this glitter here. It's a lovely, Tutti Fruity Rainbow Glitter. Again, I think this was from Nicola's Craft Shop, but I will try and link some in the description below if I can't find any. And I chose this because it complements my Rainbow Glitter pattern canvas and it also complements my ribbon. So I've got a smaller piece here to wrap around the centre of the canvas and then a bigger piece to wrap around the centre of the bow. This piece is just under one centimetre wide by four centimetres in length for this bow. And this piece here is five and a half centimetres in length by one centimetre wide. And that is to wrap around the ribbon bow. We're going to assemble this canvas bow first. But normally you would put the glue in the middle. And you would normally make these like that. But we want to make a loop. So I'm going to pop my glue on the tab and then bring these round to meet up to make a loop like this. And then taking the small piece for the centre, I'm going to place some glue in the middle first. Start at the top. And then bring this round the underside so popping some glue on the tab end folding it in toward the middle 
And the same with the other side. So this is what you've got. You've got the bow shape at the front and it forms a loop rather than a proper bow like you would normally make. And then taking our ribbon again now, just move this glue gun out of the way. You have to decide what side you want to be on the top. So you could have the blue on the top with the bow on there, or you can have the pink color on the top with the bow on there. I'm gonna go for the pink color. So this end, I'm just going to pull this apart gently where I heat sealed it together. And I'm going to slip on this bow. So I'm going to do it so the pattern, the bottom of the pattern is facing towards the inside of the bow. And I'm going to slip this over that pink piece of ribbon. And that is why we make it as a loop rather than a fixed bow shape. So as you can see, this fits on the ribbon perfectly. So that is why you need a bow template, which measures around 10 to 10 and a half centimeters across or just over four inches. So it's important that you use a bow loop template this size to fit on your one and a half inch wide ribbon. Once you're happy with that, again, you can seal back down that ribbon on that side. And then I like to add a little bit of glue under the middle. Bringing it in around a centimetre from the centre crease that we've made. So about there, and then I'm going to push that down to hold it in place. And then grabbing a couple of fabric clips, or you can use hair clips if you've got those handy. We're going to fold this side with the bow on under, and we're going to overlap that crease in the middle by around a half a centimeter. And then using these fabric clips, I'm just going to pop them on either side to hold that in place. And then this side, we're going to fold in toward the front. So this piece we folded back, this piece we're going to fold toward the front. And again, we're going to overlap the center crease by around a half a centimeter. And then keeping those pinched with my thumb and finger, I'm going to remove that clip and clip all of those three layers in place on that side and also on the other side. So this is what we've got now. And now we're ready to sew in our pinch in the middle. So taking my needle, which is already threaded with a knot in the end, we're going to make six stitches across this middle. So keeping it pinched together with my thumb and finger, I'm going to remove the clip on one side, just making sure that they're overlapping that center crease by a half a centimeter on both sides so it's even. I'm going to go in for my first stitch, making sure it's along that crease line. So going in about half a centimetre from this raw edge through the top for my first stitch. Then coming up back through for my second, and it's around a centimetre away from the first one. Then back in down for my third stitch and then back up through the last corner of this piece for my fourth stitch the fifth stitch going in this middle piece corner 
through the top toward the bottom. And then removing that last clip and our last stitch is going to come up from the bottom toward the top, catching that last corner. So you've got four and then one and one, six all together. And then we can pull in this pinch. So given that a pull, and that pinch will start to form. And then I'm just going to wrap this around a couple of times. And then on this underside, I'm going to go through this edge, catching a couple of pieces of the ribbon, just a little bit. I'm going to go in a couple of times, but on this last go, I'm not going to pull it completely tight. I'm going to go through this loose loop a couple of times and that will form a knot so I can trim off the excess thread. So this is what we've got now. And now we're ready to add our clip and then wrap our center. So taking my 45 millimeter double prong clip, that is what I'm choosing to use today. And I've got 11 centimeters of one centimeter wide ribbon. I'm going to line my clip. This is optional, but that is just something that I like to do just to finish my bow. And it also helps the bow to stick to that clip. So I've got this half lined hair clip and then I'm going to stick this to the underside of my hair bow. And now we're ready to wrap our center with our wider glitter strip. So again, I like to start on the top. So I'm going to add the glue to the center of the strip and line it up in the middle of my bow. And then I'm going to bring it around the sides to the underside. And then I'm going to stick those two ends down underneath the clip. So adding my hot glue to either end of the tab open up my clip and then stick those down under that hair clip. And there you have your finished ribbon bow with that lovely canvas bow on the corner there. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm really happy with how that turned out. And like I said before, you can experiment with this. You could add a glitter hair bow or an any patterned ribbon that you like, and then just pick out the colors to match your pattern. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. I'll be back again soon with another video. Bye.